What is Dev's Gambit? Dev's Gambit is a Dark Souls inspired platformer in the 2D space, similar to the veins of Hollow Knight or maybe almost Death Cells, uh, Dead Cells, although it is quite slower. Um, the game focuses more on the story than most typical Dark Souls, but in a way that doesn't compromise a Souls-like ability. Um, you, you deal with death, uh, regrets, and all sort of things as your character is already dead and has to confront his old life. Now, how does the gameplay is the most important, but before that, I'll show you... Well, no, let, let's just go straight up in the, in the gameplay. Uh, essentially, it is quite similar to Dark Souls. As you'll see, uh, you can hit enemies into their shield and it's gonna basically drain their stamina that you can also see. But you can also circumvent that problem by just attacking them from behind. Now to do so, you can roll or jump over the enemies. You also have access to a shield that can parry and a bow to fire. Some status element like poison are also in the game. As you can see, it will go down. If the bar fills up, I will just straight up die. The one difference to Dark Souls is that we have... Well, I guess not so different than Dark Souls 3. Is that we have a special ability. Like... Such like this. Those abilities require uh, Soul Essence, which is the purple bar at top. You gain some by fighting enemies and it will slowly go down with time or whenever you use them. As you can see, you have a Soul Counter at the bottom and a Eel Counter right next to it. The Eel Counter fu functions significantly similarly like the Estus Flask. You gain upgrade the Eel for more. And whenever you use them, your character has to stop to heal, and it will regenerate part of your HP. Uh, obviously, you will regain them after um, each death. After each death, you will also drop a plume, which are the healing things. So you can't heal to you can't have all of your healings. You have to go take it back, which is a good idea because it lets you revisit some places. However, the game has a mechanic where if you drop it in a very inconvenient location, you can just reclaim it by paying some souls. So it doesn't uh, put a problem to exploration. Now, is the game hard? Because Dark Souls games are hard. Well, most of your animation lock you into a thing. You can't really move, you can't really move while doing them. So, uh, the, the game can get hard. Uh, Right up this way is a minibus, but there is also a plume that I dropped to said minibus. Now, I don't think I'm going to beat it. Uh, I will try my best and I will just let you see a little bit of gameplay. Yeah, as you can see, uh, I didn't do very good in this one, but it's okay. It is not the end of the world, since as every Dark Souls game, you start back at the last bonfire you hit. You can rest at said bonfire, um, and you will be able to level up as any good Dark Souls games. And you can just hit confirm on that one, and you'll see you level up. You can also reclaim the plumes, as I said. The price will go up every time you do it. So don't do it all the time. Because most of the time, it's gonna be in your way to go get the plume back. But if you're stuck exploring a very, very odd place, you can always reclaim it. Now, I said the game focuses more on story, and I'm not lying. Uh, you'll see some random NPCs, like the merchant. 
that you can just talk to. Right now, I've, I've already exhausted the dialogue option with him, but it's still good to know. Um, th this lady here also sells you weapon arts, essentially, is what they are. You can learn the abilities. And yeah, that is pretty much the game, honestly. It's not that hard. Uh, I've beaten the game before. Uh, but they are currently, and that is important to say, they are releasing a free DLC that will double the game's size. Um, add more items, add more things, so I'm gonna do a live stream of that, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's... It's just pretty neat overall that they are doing this. Now, the last thing I was gonna say is that tomes like this one here are especially interesting. This is how they reward exploration. Um, so you'll get, and I don't know if we can find it here, but in the menus, which is very similar to Dark Souls, as I'm sure you'll see, you'll get these journals. Now, what do these journals do? They basically makes you stronger against a certain boss so as you can see i explored it i explored depths earlier and i found two tomes of the dark knight these tomes will give you lore on the bosses but also add to the damage you deal to that boss so i feel it's a great way to emphasize um to emphasize exploration um additionally you get a very normal, uh, very normal menu, I feel. Um, you also get a talent tree. Now, this is odd, right? Dark Souls, talent tree. But this is due to the fact that they give you a bunch of choice of characters that you can pick from at the beginning of the game. And each character will have a different talent tree. Um, so, let's just play some more of the game, shall we? I'll just head forward for a little bit and honestly, uh, I kind of believe that that this guy is the only way. So look, we'll, we'll punch our head against the wall for a little bit. And that was obviously not it. What do you dream of becoming, Soren? And as you can see, sometimes if you die a lot, you will get um, these scenes that makes more emphasize on the story, which are more of a RPG feature, I'd say. Um, however, the story is very good. I recommend it a lot. It is less um, built on the world than Dark Souls, but it is insanely good. Um, brought me to tears several times during my first playthrough and I can't wait to experience it again with the venue of the DLC which will surely change the story a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be a soldier just like you. <laughs> I'm glad but you know I wasn't always a soldier. I don't know. You'll have plenty of time to figure it out. Just remember whatever you do Give it your all, okay? And back on the grind. There is also the option, as every good Dark Souls, to just entirely skip. To entirely skip parts of the problem, essentially. Um, Yeah, I don't think I'm beating this guy anytime soon. Oh, and you can see some more... And you're like, what is going on? That's a bit weird, but it's it's normal, it's normal. 
Also, I, I, I will say, in addition to Dark Souls, uh, you don't lose your souls at the end, right? Uh, which can be very odd, but you lose the fetters, which you'll need to regain regardless. This is one way of saying, hey, exploration matters. Uh, it's a very different... It's a very different way than uh, Dark Souls handled it. Also, you, you'll see now at the top right corner, uh, since I've been poisoned, uh, I will take damage every second, so that's not great for us. And we got the poop back. But yeah, overall, I'd say the game is very good. And I can't wait for the DLC to come in. It is coming in today. And I'm sure you'll see a bunch of people playing it. So hopefully you get it. It's a free DLC, might I had. Uh, it just comes with straight up with the game. Um, and yeah, you get... You get to choose your abilities, you get to level up, you can reclaim the fetters, and you can augment your fetters uh, by taking more damage. So yeah, this is my short review of Dev's Gambit. Uh, not to take too much of your time. Hopefully you saw a bit how the game plays, how the story is important, and uh, maybe you'll give it a shot and try it for yourself. For myself, I know I've already finished the game. Um, and it was great with all the optional bosses. It was quite short. I finished it in, what, 11 hours? But the DLC will double that, most likely. Also, I have to add, um, every boss has a heroic version. Meaning you can take on the same boss twice. Um, and that boss will just be harder to kill, essentially. It's a late game... Uh, it's an end game challenge and they are very hard very very hard so yeah um hope this helped clear a bit the idea on the game that you had and um yeah i'll see you guys next time